So the carbon capture storage is simply capturing the carbon and then transport them and inject them below the subsurface. The fact is, Indonesia is blessed that because we do have this huge amount of the carbon storage, yeah. the, cap, the big storage itself. Yeah, the, we, the empty oil well or gas well. If we divided the 700 gigatons with the emission currently probably six or 700 yeah, millions, yeah. so we can actually carry for over than 1,000 years of CO2, oh. of Indonesia only. 1,000? So, years. 1,000 years? years. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yes! Oh yes! The carbonizers, carbon activists, carbon friends all over the world. Welcome back to another episode of Carbon uh, Forum. With me, Pumpi Dahidya Tuno as the host, as always. This is going to be very interesting because today we've been waiting for this one. Because uh, we will be talking about CCS, uh, yeah, carbon capture and storage. And with us today, we already have a very interesting uh, guest. It's a she, uh, and she's the head of uh, developer of the Indonesian Carbon uh, Captures and Storage Center, ICCSC. <laughs> Am I right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> With us, Ibu Diofani S. Putri. I'm right, aren't I? Yes, right. yes good. correct. That's good. Good, 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 good. Right. So tell me more about ICCSC. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. First of all, thank you so much for your invitation. No, no, no. I thank you. Thanks for being yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> it was an honor to talk mm -hmm. here with uh, yeah. your podcast here. Um, and well, yeah, if you ask me about Indonesia CCS mm -hmm. Center, uh, we are the independent organization mm -hmm. um, that we are currently acting as the accelerator of Indonesia to pushing mm -hmm. Indonesia as the regional CCS hub, the mm -hmm. carbon capture and storage hub in Asia. Wow. So yeah, mm -hmm. we're not just a normal organization, I would say, because mm -hmm. we're acting as the accelerator. We do have this um, specific uh, role as mm -hmm. a, we do have so many hands to mm -hmm actually work with we work with the government we mm. work with the partners we work with the industry players yeah, yeah, so we yeah. want to connect all of the dots you know as as mm. the accelerator we have to act as literally the center of the ccs right. so we help mm. government to advocate them about the regulation for the mm. ccs we are also talking with the partners um regionally internationally mm. we also dealing with the united nation with wow. the us um cldp with singapore yeah, south yeah. korea with japanese with australia and everything mm -hmm. also in norway and also we work with the industry players as we know that yeah. Yeah, the surprise is the important thing because they they the ones who will work for the CCS in Indonesia. Wow. Yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> and uh, there are a lot of people who actually are not aware yet with the issue on the CCS. Can you mm -hmm. specifically sort of mention and explain to them mm -hmm. related to the CCS? I know that already, but I just need yeah. to this. <laughs> so yeah, probably CCS is quite new in Indonesia, but um Luckily, actually, CCS is already there um, mm. outside Indonesia. It's been implemented in UK, mm. US, Canada, especially in Norway. Currently, mm. we we benchmarking Norway so much. We look for, uh, to them so much uh, for wow. this technology. So the carbon capture storage is simply capturing the carbon and then transport them and inject them mm. below the subsurface. So if we can, if you can just imagine, um, if we have this analog for CCS, mm. imagine that you kind of having a barbecue, Korean mm. barbecue or something. So when we grill the meat and then uh, you just, the, um, the steam is um, captured by the host and ah, then right yeah, 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 and yeah. then yeah um the capture uh by the host and then um, the smoke this, the, yes the, the, the smoke, smoke is captured mm -hmm. and then the transport it is transported uh, through the pipeline or oh, probably yeah, yeah. with the shipping as well mm -hmm. and then at somewhere place safe mm -hmm. we just inject them deeply underground it's probably yeah. more than one and two kilometers underground yeah, yeah, yeah. so if you imagine it's probably nine times of monas 
below there, so mm. it's perfectly safe. Six or nine times, depending upon the uh, upon the, the depth. Um, yes, uh, mm. the depth of the reservoir of the layers that we yeah, want yeah. to inject it and storage the carbon, right, so it's definitely right. safe. So yeah, it's as simple as that. The process. So we just want to just like um, capturing all of the carbon and emission mm -hmm. from the atmosphere, from the chimney of the industry, and everything, and then transport them and inject them. So we will not see the carbon in the atmosphere anymore. Right, right. Yeah, I understand that the greenhouse gases mm -hmm. and also the emission still keep sort of. Uh, being produced right now yeah. in Indonesia. So removing them from the air and then put it in a storage and then sort of, uh, well, put it away uh, underneath the, the soil, yeah. then it's going to be very interesting. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, I heard that the investment is kind of mm -hmm. high, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And, uh, it's huge. Yeah, it's huge. So uh, I think that the what I'm saying is, there's gonna be like only a few people that can, I mean, a few sort of parties that can actually sort of contribute in this case because when you're dealing with big things and I don't think anybody can actually get involved in this, but uh, how big is the minimum scale of these uh, so-called player, industrial player or whatever, investment sort of thing. Yeah. So if I would say number, it's going to huge, right? It's yeah. probably, if you want to build one CCS cluster mm -hmm. in Indonesia, if we benchmark with the um, Norway, mm -hmm. um, it will cost probably more than $2 billion. $2 billion for? For the for, CCS, for all uh, of the value for what, chain. What's the, cap the capacity of the... It's around 2.5 million tons per annum of carbon that we want to store. Oh, 2, 2 million? 2 million, 0.5. Uh, 2.5 million, yes. okay. So that's big. Um, but fortunately, I think, yeah, we have to go with the big players first yeah, because yeah. they they are the one who can actually pay mm. for that, right? Two billion dollars. Eh? Two billion dollars, yeah. yeah. So as we know this that- This actually is not that expensive. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. But, but everyone according just to, said that. <laughs> according to the rich ones that- Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you would say that. Uh -huh. You know, because as we know, probably if we compare it with the oil and gas field, it's mm. kind of probably the cost it's the same or twice mm -hmm. if you want to develop a yeah, oil and gas field, right? Really the same thing. So yeah. yeah, but I think uh, regarding the investment itself, it's funny because mm. uh, currently, because the whole world is well, pretty much concerned about the climate change, mm -hmm. so everything has to be green, right? Yeah, yeah. So U.S., China, U.K., Europe, they want to go green. So if mm. we, they want to invest on the um, industry, they have to actually uh, evaluate about the green um, content within their industry so they yeah. have to do something about the carbon and emission that they yeah. will they have produce, to deal with it right? they have to reduce and it first and then probably exactly. remove it yeah, yeah. funny <clears throat> thing probably i will just give one example mm -hmm. uh, so there's one uh, company they want to invest for the petrochemical industry in indonesia yeah. but the <coughs> fid the final investment decision criteria is one can we do this CCS in indonesia because they have mm. to do the CCS in order to this petrochemical industry running. Mm. If they cannot do the CCS in Indonesia, they will find another place they can do the yeah, CCS. Yeah. So that's why we're currently calling the CCS as the license to invest yeah. because we do have to do the CCS before they invest for the petrochemical industry. Yeah, petrochemical yeah, yeah. industry itself, that will be cost probably 15 billions. And yeah, then yeah. The, um, in addition to it, we have to do the CCS mm. to until three billion out yeah, of it. Yeah. So yeah, if we compare the cost, as you said, if mm. we compare with the other industry that probably cost higher more than that, mm. yeah, it's not yeah. that much. But yeah, probably uh, they will compare it with another the carbonization yeah. options, right? Mm. Two billions, you can plant trees, you mm. can do everything uh, with those huge amount of money instead of doing CCS. But if it's talking about the amount of the carbon that actually can be removed from the atmosphere, from the air, mm. it's quite huge, 2.5 million ton per annum. Right. You must be aware that the presidential decree related to these uh, CCS mm -hmm. was actually issued like a couple yes. of months back, mm -hmm. quite recently, not mm -hmm. too far away. Yeah, it's uh, uh, 30 January. I remember the date. Okay, <laughs> so that's good. You have to remember the date. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that good in sort of memorizing mm. numbers. But what I'm saying is, uh, as far as I understand that the uh, allocations on the mm -hmm. uh, CCS Storage. activities 
when it comes to the investment it will be allocated 30% only for the foreign entities yeah uh, 70% should be the local players mm -hmm. am i right correct yeah so what i'm saying is how uh, how do uh, the government will actually attract local players to come in into this business and then taking over these 70% of these uh, sort of uh, ccs development activities yeah yeah, that's interesting, Papa, because, you know, um, as we mentioned that it will mm. be cost so much. Mm. So we hope that our CCS hub vision mm. is will be the um, first market driven CCS hub. So mm. as we know that Indonesia currently doesn't have any carrot and stick for carbon, you know, we we didn't apply, we don't apply the um, carbon tax yet, yeah, right? There is there is the um, carbon pricing for that, but I don't yeah. think it's implemented yet. Next year. Next year, mm. right? But we, I don't think we will issue some kind of um, incentive for that. We cannot hope for, I don't know, the incentive kind of thing. Do for, you expect any incentive for that? Oh, because I really do. You know, I really do. I really don't want Don't you think the the carbon price for CCS is already high? Already high. Yeah, it's already high, right? You're right. It's yeah. already high. So it is interesting for you. So you don't need incentive. Oh, we, we right do to. need that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that we will right, be hoping right, for right. that. Industry hoping for that. And I, then, thought, I thought big investors, normally they don't need, you know, that, incentives. Mm, yeah. Pretty much still, um, I would say. Mm. But interestingly, yeah, uh, because of that, if we're talking about the, we don't have any carrot and stick yet. So, yeah. but we I know, agree with that. yeah, mm. but we know that our neighboring countries, such as Singapore and mm. Japan, mm. and probably Australia, they want to actually implement it, those mm. carrot and stick, right? The Singapore and the Japan and mm. Australia, but they don't have any storage. Probably they have, but it's so limited. Yeah, yeah. And funnily, especially Singapore lah. Especially Singapore lah. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. obvious Singapore though. Singapore lah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, they're smaller in Jakarta. Yeah, <laughs> we, yeah. we cannot hope that much. And then, um, the fact is, Indonesia is blessed, but because we do have this huge amount of the carbon storage, yeah. the cap, the big storage itself. Yeah, the we. The empty oil well or gas well. Right? Yes, yeah. the, the mm. reservoir. So it's not only the, the reservoir mm. for uh, depleted oil and gas reservoir. We can storage it in the saline aquifer. So there's two options currently oh. ongoing yeah, in outside the world. We can do injection for, uh, you know, within the uh, depleted oil and gas in the reservoir and mm. also the saline aquifer. And then uh, we calculate the storage capacity of Indonesia and yeah. the, the number is 700 gigatons. Yeah. So it's huge. How huge is that? If we divide it, the storage capacity. That's the existing one, is it? The existing or one, yes. The, existing the, car, uh, the, the available mm. one. The right available now. ones. And if we divide it, that number with the emission of Indonesia. Well, of, it's already surpassed the NDC, yeah? Yeah. It's a lot more. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. If we divided the 700 gigatons with the emission currently, probably six or 700 yeah, million. Yeah, yeah. So we can actually carry for over than 1,000 years of CO2, oh. of Indonesia only. 1,000? So, 1, years. 1,000 years? Years. Oh, yes. years. Sorry, years. sorry. I thought 1,000 a year. 1,000 1, years. years. Okay. Yeah, for carbon, right? right? right, right, right. It, that's only for our emission, domestic emission. Uh. So because we do have that huge man, amount of the um, storage capacity, mm. I think, and we know that Singapore and Japan needs that mm. because they have only limited storage capacity. Yeah. Mm. So we can attract that. We can okay. provide the service that hey, you can you can you mm. can partner with us if you mm. want to. We can just um, mm. sell our storage capacity. So that's why we call it as the market driven, and they already interested for that. Okay. They're willing to invest for that. They want to do the CCS cross border mm. itself, and it's uh, stated also in the presidential regulation. So once the investment is uh, from the actually from the regional and also mm -hmm. from the international coming to Indonesia, mm -hmm. we hope that this one will ignite the domestic players mm. you know because we know that domestic player doesn't have any carrot and stick yet. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. the if the infrastructure is already built by mm. the very investor mm. and then we activate it surrounding mm. area you know because he says it's not only about capturing transporting and injecting mm. but we can also attracting some industry that want to invest for example if 
if steel industry or cement industry want to invest mm-hmm. and build and produce some kind of a low carbon cement low carbon steel yeah, or yeah. probably blue ammonia blue hydrogen yeah. they can build their plants around that ccfs yeah. so that's why we call it ccs hub so we attract yeah. more investment and yeah. if the local player wants to play with it yeah, yeah. they can just tap in with the probably <coughs> lower price yeah. So that's 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 our goals actually to push wow. Indonesia to be success hub. So this is kind of a literally new emerging industry that we want to create right now. Good. Yeah. It's been very interesting. Mm-hmm. You made like very good points on these uh, CCS things. Would you like to address a couple of uh, sentences to the audience of uh, Carbon Firm Street? Please, by all means. Ah, okay. Sure. Um, Decarbonizers, decar, decar. Ah, we call it decarbon. I think it's carbon coins <laughs> or decarbonizers. Decarbonizer. Okay, okay. So decarbonizer. Um, thank you for watching this podcast regarding the CCS. I know it's probably quite a new topic for you, but I promise you that CCS is kind of a really interesting for the future. I would say because uh, what we're doing here is currently for a better Indonesia. It's not only talking about the environmental thingy, but we want to help for the economic benefit of Indonesia itself. We believe that this very new emerging industry will help Indonesia to actually grow the economic growth, probably rising the GDP and also helping for the environmental itself and DC and everything. And also we want to actually invite you to probably be our kind of um, supporter and warriors for the CCS and if you want to learn or if you want to getting more about the ccs indonesia ccs center is helping for you wow <laughs> extraordinary thank you very much ibu dio yeah you are welcome how do i call you dio or funny dio is actually dio i know i know it's weird <laughs> yes they usually but everyone like... called you dio yes. okay ibu dio well anyway yeah. just one more thing mm-hmm. if i have like investors like uh, who is interested in mm-hmm. uh, investing in a ccs project mm-hmm. for example Does any uh, member of your uh, association. association already have the, what you call it, concessions for the yeah. empty wells? Yeah, yeah. Currently, we we mm-hmm. Indonesia have 15 No, what projects. I'm saying, they already like have the concessions just straight away. Yeah. Coming. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, already there. Okay, we should talk about it, and then we will Perfect. set up a very interesting business in the future. So oh, sure. once again, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Babumpi. Okay. Well. The carbonizers, carbon mm-hmm. activists, carbon friends all over the world. That was Ibu Diofani as Putri. Well, wow, extraordinary. We just talk about a lot of things related to the uh, carbon capture and storage, and you would you would see that the potential is there. It's just a matter how we actually sort of uh, well put it them all together and then make it work. So hopefully we will will be able to support uh, their efforts in this uh, sort of noble endeavor related to decarbonization. And hopefully we will see you again in the next chapter or in the next episode of Carbon Forum. With me, Pompidahidatullah. Until next time. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.